Welcome, I'm Rose Oatley, and today we're gonna be making a delicious queso dip, perfect for parties or just to satisfy that craving. Okay, we're gonna start by cutting up a few veggies. I've got a very small piece of onion here. I would say probably even smaller than a quarter of an onion. And we wanna just go ahead and dice this up into small pieces. We're also going to be using a small piece of green and red bell pepper and we want to dice this up into small pieces. So a quick funny story behind this case so, so I recently sent my daughter off to college, out of state, different time zone, and I get a phone call late at night from her boyfriend whom is also out there. He's uh, texting me, Rose, are you up? And I'm in a little bit of a panic because here I'm thinking, oh my gosh, there's something seriously wrong with my daughter. Something happened. You know, that mother thing. Anyway, and so he calls me. He says, can you tell us how to make queso? <laughs> oh my gosh. They know I stay up and I know it. I guess they're in a different time zone, so they probably forgot that as well. But I was a little bit in a panic for a while. So Brandon, this one's for you. I've got one Roma tomato that we're going to be de-seeding and dicing up. You don't want the seeds in there. You don't want it all runny and stuff. So make sure that you do de-seed it and it's pretty easy. You just scoop it out with a spoon. Moving on, I'm going to be using half of a jalapeno. And for those who don't like their things hot, don't worry about it. We're going to be de-seeding this and it's going to be very mild. Now for those who do like stuff hot, feel free to leave the seeds if you like. And you can also add uh, pickled jalapenos at the end. Now we want to make sure that we dice this up into small pieces. If you wear contact lenses, it's always a good idea when you're handling jalapenos to wear gloves or you can even use a Ziploc bag just so that you don't touch the jalapenos. You don't want to be hurting later. We're going to be chopping up a little bit of cilantro and I love using cilantro in a lot of my Mexican dishes. It just gives it that really nice Mexican flavor. Uh, now, if for some reason you don't like cilantro or any of the veggies in this recipe, feel free to leave those out. All right, friends, let's talk cheese. And no, not that kind of cheese. Don't be cutting no cheese here. <laughs> anyway, for our first cheese, I'm going to be using American cheese. And make sure that you go to your deli and have them cut your cheese for you. Don't buy the shredded uh, cheese in the bag because that one has a little bit of a waxy film and it's not going to melt as nicely. It's free to get it cut. I've got one pound that I had them cut here. I'm gonna be using three quarters of this block and we're just gonna cut this into smaller squares. My second cheese is Kobe Jack and I ended up getting half a pound of this. I think I'm gonna use half of this and we're gonna go ahead and cube it as well. I went ahead and asked for this third cheese. When you don't have to, you can just stick to your American and your Kobe Jack, but I'm using Gouda cheese, G-O-U-D-A, and I got half a pound of this. I'm also gonna use half of that and cube it. Today, I'm gonna be using a small cast iron skillet. I can't remember the exact size, but it's a pretty small one. I love using this one because it's perfect to serve in and it can also go in the oven. I went ahead and sprayed it with a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Cast iron skillets are fairly cheap and they work really great guys the only thing is that there is a little bit of maintenance before you start using them you have to uh do what's called seasoning and if you subscribe to my youtube channel i will show you how to do this at a later date once your butter is melted you want to go ahead and add your onions and then we're also going to be adding our red and green bell peppers and I'm just gonna ballpark it here to see how much uh, bell peppers to add. It just kind of depends on the size of your pan and how much you're making. Just feel free to use as much or as little as you want. Add your jalapenos in here and then we're gonna give this a quick mix. We wanna saute it for just a little bit, not very long. Start adding your cheeses. Again, I've got my Kobe Jack cheese here, my American and my Gouda cheese. You can use whatever cheeses you like. Just make sure they're a good melting cheese. All right, I'm probably gonna stop here with my cheeses and then put some more later. I wanna make sure that it melts and that it doesn't start seeping over because it is a small pan, so I can always add more cheese later. Add half a cup of whole milk. Let's give it a mix and it's gonna slowly start melting for us here. This is coming along really nicely. 
We're gonna start adding our spices. We'll start with some kosher salt or you can do regular salt and this is to your taste. I'm gonna add just a little bit of pepper. I really don't eat much here. By the way, I have my heat set at about a four and this is melting really nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, some more of my cheese here. I wanna fill it not all the way to the rim, but kind of close to it. I'm getting pretty close. I'm probably pushing it, but that's okay. All right, this is melting quite nicely. So I'm gonna continue with my spices. I've got half a teaspoon of cumin here. And I'm also going to be adding half a teaspoon of oregano. This is already looking really good and smelling delish. Whoops, I just spilled some. I'm sure I'm probably gonna make a little bit of a mess here since I went pretty close to the rim here. Just parting the mess, guys. Oh my goodness, this is looking so divine, yum. All right, so once you get towards the end, when your cheese is just about melted, we're gonna be topping this off with some cilantro. I wanna make sure that I get it carefully mixed in, because as you can see, I'm spilling it all over the place, so I do apologize about my mess here. But anyway, we wanna get this all mixed in, and look how yummy this looks already. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to have this. Look at this. This is like the most perfect consistency. Love it. Okay, so at this point, we can take it off the stove to our table and put the rest of our toppings, but why stop there? I'm gonna show you how to take it a little bit further. If you wanna get that golden brown topping at the top, we're gonna put this in our oven and broil it for only 30 seconds, 25 to 30 seconds. That's all it takes. Don't burn it. Keep an eye on it, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on a cookie sheet pan because I don't wanna make a mess in my oven just like I did here. Okay, this is 30 seconds in my oven. See that golden topping? This is what I want. Now, don't forget, every oven varies, so keep an eye on it. I let my queso sit out for just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and top it off with some cilantro, and I'm also going to add my Roma tomatoes that we cut up. I usually like adding my tomatoes way at the end. For all you jalapeno lovers, you can add uh, pickled jalapenos on top. Now, I'm not big on the spicy stuff, but I don't mind a few of these uh, pickled jalapenos. They're actually pretty good. All right, I am so ready to dig in. I can't wait. I've been waiting this whole time. Let's give this a try, guys. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so good. I really think you're gonna love it. This is gonna be perfect for me binging on Netflix. This is perfect for your holiday parties, your Super Bowl parties. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to show me some love by giving it a thumbs up and sharing with your friends. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos. And please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.